So, I already did part 1 showing you my top 7 elements, but today we're going to take a look at what you wanted to have. First up we have the Ice Flower. So the Ice Flower is a power up with which you can throw ice balls and freeze enemies. Afterwards you can pick them up and throw them away. So all of this would work perfectly in the game so I see no reason why this shouldn't be in Super Mario Maker. I mean, it's like the Fire Flower, just a bit more different. This would be an awesome addition because while throwing this ice block you can also kill other enemies. And this ice block does not immediately break when you throw it at the ground. It slides away. The Mini and the Mega Mushroom So when eating the Mega Mushroom, Luigi becomes a giant and then he can destroy all blocks in his way and make his way to the end. But maybe in Mario Maker 3 there would be an option to select if a block is destroyable by this mushroom or not. With the mini mushroom Mario can jump super high like he's in space. Like this he can just avoid all kinds of enemies. These two mushrooms would be a great addition if you can drag them to other enemies to make them bigger or smaller. Next up we have fuzzies. The fuzzy is a sweet little enemy which is most of the times on tracks. It behaves pretty much like a saw blade, but it is a bit smaller. The difference between the saw blade and the fuzzy is that Yoshi can eat it. But the reason I want this in Super Mario Maker is that it can make levels look harder, because fuzzies are faster than saw blades on tracks. The fizzlet is next. Fizzlets would be very useful if you want to block away and Mario can only pass with some kind of enemy or power-up. They would only be available for the Super Mario 3D World style. You could also put them in pipes and you need to jump on them to open up the way. Diagonal Pipes they are pipes which are neither horizontal nor vertical. You can turn pipes in all four directions, but you can make them diagonal. They appeared in many different Mario games, especially the new ones, but even in Super Mario World. They would allow us to make more versatile levels. Moving Terrain Remember this moving terrain from Super Mario World and Super Mario Wii? It appears a lot in the game, so why shouldn't we have it in Super Mario Maker? You would be able to adjust the movement of the terrain like you can adjust the water. The Penguin Suit So first of all, Mario Maker could have more power-ups overall. But anyways, the Penguin Suit is a mix of the Ice Flower and the Blue Shell from Super Mario DS. You can once again freeze enemies, but you can also slide on the ice. While doing this, Mario can break also brick blocks. This power-up also looks really funny. And thanks for watching. If you want to see my top 7 elements we need in Super Mario Maker 3, just click the card on the top. And if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you stay alerted when I post something new.